Do you see Richard Spencer as a bad guy? I see him as a misguided guy who's on the left. In other words, when I say on the left, here's what I mean. <clears throat> Number one, he believes in identity politics. Identity politics is this. Identity politics is the belief that the most important thing about you is what ethnic group or race you belong to. Now, see, I don't believe that. Right. But he believes that. I don't know. I think he only believes that because they've been so white guys, especially, and especially white straight men, have been so under attack, and they've been prevented from speaking up for the last 60 years or so, everybody accused. I just think they're mad about the way they've been treated. Right, but and I mean, in that fallen state, they're coming out like that. Agreed, but remember, like, I would say that the angry nationalism of, say, Malcolm X came right. in response to what he saw as yeah. white nationalism. Sure right, and, and Malcolm X goes, if we don't fight back as a group, and so now Richard is the next turn of the screw. And so he represents a, a kind of bitter white nationalism responding to what he sees as the minority nationalism. Yeah. Of, he goes, well, his, we have black power, we have Latino power, we have this power, we have that power. Why can't we have white power? Right. That's basically his I argument. Agree. I agree. You know? and, uh, but I don't think Trump's on, that, on, that, on no. that bandwagon at all. Not at all. Uh, Trump is, a, you know, we're Americans first. Right. And, and that's what we have in common. And, uh, and I think that's actually the future of the Republican Party. That was also Reagan. That was the Reaganite yeah. conservatism. I became a conservative in the 80s. And, uh, and Trump, I think, is continuous with that.